This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm Julian Gibson, our top sports story. Let's travel to London where the World Track and Field Championships is taking place. Our Charles Fisher, well, he brings us up to date on the relays. Day 11 here of the IWF World Track and Field Championships in London, England. Thanks to Island Luck and the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas, it was not a good day for our relay teams as none advanced to the finals. The ladies 4x1 did not get the baton around. The same for the 4x1 boys. Bro, I, don't, I don't even know. I thought it was clean, but I had to get that DQ and that time to show up on the board, so I guess that's a race. That's the only good thing about it. As for the 4x4 four four ladies, they had a miss out. Christine Amatil on the back stretch. Her leg caught up with another runner. She fell to the trap. She was taken into medical attention. A few hours later, she came out and spoke to reporters. That's the last thing I remember. I heard the crowd screaming and so I had the presence of mind to drag myself off the track because I assumed the race was still going on. But that's about it. Um, and it happened with, with, with Ben Freeman. I don't know. I just saw myself heading towards the track in the wrong direction. So, you know, I was trying to protect your face. So I stuck my hands out. Got a few cuts and bruises about my body. But other than that, you know, a really bad headache going on right now. I've been assessed. The team doctor will assess me once again. Once I get to the hotel and we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Oh, I'm extremely disappointed because, you know, I, this is what we trained for. This is what we came out here to do. And, uh, you know, we've got a really young one on the team and she didn't get a chance to run. So I feel bad and, you know, really disappointed, but she'll have many more years ahead of her. As for our men's 4x4 four four meter relay team, they got the baton around, but they were missing a key piece of the puzzle. The day we was expected to, to go there and, you know, make the finals, but unfortunately, our athletes had their own destiny and their own goals. So we had to put that aside. You know, it was a last minute decision to put in guys who wasn't doing as well to run. And we came out here and gave it our all, and that's all we got have done. Head coach Diane Woodside summed it up this week. Wow, well, we, we had a rough day. Um, we had some really good exchange practices. Of course, when they get out there, we don't know what's going to happen. But we had some major incidences out there today, and. I'm quite um, disappointed, but the kids, the uh, athletes been out there, did their best, and things just happened this morning, and we just didn't fare very well. We were told that there some, um, some of the teams didn't run the, the, the competitions that they should have run. Is that the case? Um, yes, and yes, yes, to be honest with you. Um, the girls team um, was pretty okay. Um, we, we, based on the exchanges we did, I think that was the best possible combination at the particular time. Um, we missed out Anthony Strong on the on Anthony Strong, but we chose to use it in the four x four, which of course the stick didn't come around to her, and I think you know she'd have done a good job. Um, the boys four x four, it was requested for as a head coach. I requested him to run in the heat because I didn't think it was um, we would have done. I thought we'd done a lot better, taking off two seconds off of our time, but he refused to run. And I told him, well, that's now a managerial executive uh, dis uh, problem now to deal with. But as a co head coach, and I told him as a head coach, um, I'm requesting that you run. And if you don't, well, that's the case. So the Lama's all done with the competition here in these championships. Two medals, a silver and a bronze. But the story today, none of our relay teams advancing to the finals. The B3 is with much work to do. In London, England, thanks to my cameraman Robert Johnson, Island Luck and the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas, I'm Charles Fisher. Thanks much, Seafish. On the 17 girls national basketball team, they're getting set to head to Puerto Rico come tomorrow. To represent the Bahamas in the Central Basket Competition, and we're also defending our gold title that we won last year at the CBC tournament. Um, we are looking forward to we are looking forward to having excellent results inside this tournament. We believe that we have put together a strong team. I expect the tournament to be a tough tournament because our coaches keep expressing the, how great the level is from CBC and moving up. But the only thing we could do is go over there and play hard and put our best foot forward every game and try to come up with the W and to move on to the next level. I expect us to do good. I think that we are one of the better teams and I think that 
we are capable of bringing home a medal. Because when other teams might be sleeping, we out there are running hills, running beaches. And the goal for the team Bahamas is to win the goal. I think the chances of heading there would be great. You know, this is the last team traveling for the summer before we go into the, the winter when we get into uh, the senior men in the home and away series. So, Burrell Davis, the head coach, assisted by Terrence Red Eye McSweeney and Devon Johnson. So, I, I think they're going to be fine. Still talking basketball, the Bahamas Basketball Federation Summer of Thunder taking place at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. And if you look at two sides of the gym, it is empty. Coach Trevor Grant, what's going on? It's not the point of Bahamian people coming out, it's poor marketing. You have to get a marketing person who can get the idea of the Bahamians to come into basketball, get the people back into basketball. You see, it's, it's like this Summer of Thunder. You got a lot of people who really know about the Summer of Thunder. Unless I tell them, I tell people, hey, we playing basketball night, they come to the gym. But it's, it's the poor marketing strategy we're using. We need to come with a different marketing strategy, even if we got to bring in somebody to market it for summer and train us how to market this, this business. This, this could be a very lucrative business, but you have to get the right people to market it. And finally in sports, the Bahamas Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation, their weigh-in took place yesterday. Of course, make sure to tune in to ZNS Total Sports tomorrow. We will give you all the highlights from the Nationals. Well, that's all the time for Sports Saturday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. You've got a forecast still to come.